In the shop, there were some basketballs and netballs. Four over seven of the basketballs and three quarters of the netballs are so. They were an equal number. Okay, notice that I bold the I bold the words equal number. Okay, you understand why later. All right, there were equal number of uh, basketballs and netballs left. If there were thirty-five more netballs than basketballs at first, find the number of netballs in the shop at first. Okay, so first of all, how do we know this question falls under the equal fraction concept? Okay, that's because when you see this keyword equal number. Okay, so this question says that after four over seven of the basketballs and three quarter netballs are sold, there were equal number of uh, basketballs and netballs left. Okay, so what do we do? All right, we need to find the fraction that is the leftover, right? Okay, because if four over seven of the basketballs are sold, in that case, okay, what is the fraction of the basketballs leftover? Okay, that's right, right? You take one minus four over seven, you get three over seven. Okay, this should be quite straightforward to you. All right, this will be the fraction of the basketballs that are left. Then same thing for the net balls. You need to take one minus three quarter, you get one over four. Okay, so this will represent one quarter of the net balls left. Okay, and now we can apply the equal fraction concept. Okay, since the question says that there were equal number of basketballs and netballs left, I will need to make the numerator the same. Okay, so how do I make this numerator the same as this? I will need to times 3. Okay, so 1 times 3 will give you 3, while 4 times 3 give you 12. Okay, and after you have made the numerator the same, we can now compare the denominator. So the denominator for the basketball is 7 units, while the net balls will be 12 units. Okay, do you understand so far? Alright, so basically this is just applying the equal fraction concept. After you have made numerator the same, you simply compare denominator. And this denominator will stand for the number of units of the basketball at first. Okay, take note, right? This is at first, okay? Not the basketball so. Alright, because remember, right, the leftover is 3 units. Alright, and this will represent the number of basketball at first. Okay, same thing for netball, right? So netball's leftover is 3 units. And 12 units is the netball's at first. Okay, so now how do we find 1 unit? The question says that they were 35 more netball's than basketball. So what do you need to do? That's right, okay, you need to find a difference. Alright, so 12u minus 7u will be 5u. So 5u will be 35. And 1 unit will be 35 divided by 5, which is 7. The question asks for a number of net balls at first. So the answer will be 12 unit, which is 12 times 7, which will give you an answer of 84.